Hello, welcome to another video. I hope you are well. Thank you for returning. If you are returning to uh, watch this video, this channeling video. <laughs> it's my kettle giving a tap already. Uh, I have the door in the background deliberately because in the, um, one of the uh, tarot reading uh, videos, it actually opened of its own accord. So I'm just going to see if that happens again, see if we get any more flashes or orbs or anything like that. Thank you to all of you who are uh, mentioning what is going on around me. Just in blue light, somebody's over there. And uh, it's great that you can say it because it's so frustrating for me. There's somebody sitting on my sofa here. You drive me nuts. It keeps, sorry, I'm sorry, but it keeps driving my attention. Um, anyway, sorry. You try living my life. Um, <laughs> anyway, so this is really important what I've, I've got to tell you. I did a, a big uh, channeling this morning with three angels and I got asked to pick them out of the angel uh, tarot deck, which I have before I got uh, started. So we've got Archangel Gabriel. I can't even see this guy. Oh, oh my Omeo, I'm probably saying it all right. Ch Cho Akia, I, oh, I, can't, I can't say it. <laughs> and I know it's backwards. C H E U A K I E H. And that's A for Apple, if anybody in the UK is going to moan about my Geordie accent. <laughs> okay. So I've got them. Uh, that's who spoke to me. Um, they even gave gave me a playlist to play as I was um, uh, doing it. And I'm going to put the playlist in the description. And it's because some of the words of the songs are relevant to the message. So you may have to go and listen to them. I'm sorry, I'm already getting a weirdness on my face. My face is just looking a bit different. I've got my... Uh, computer screen open here the blank screen so i can see what's going on there's somebody over my, right this man uh, right here and he's facing me and another one out oh, that's you isn't it that's my main guide nathan he's changed the face of my sh sh change the shape of my face so I, d I don't know it just does not look right so it's not just me looking at you <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> Creepy as that may sound. So uh, before we get uh, started, thank you to all of you supporting me with your comments and, you know, telling me that you see things and everything. It's great validation and uh, all the comments and trying to piece together all of this information that I keep getting. And some of you pointed out, uh, I think it was Donna, who Donna Patrick, who sent me an email. I will be getting back to you. Uh, I've just got so many things going on at the moment. I did a whole load of videos, little videos that were going to go on Instagram, but I, I just put them on uh, YouTube because I went on there. I will not be on there. My past just came straight back at me. They still even had an account on there for my friend, Anna, who I met in a cruise. Uh, she died and the account's still on there. My fa a family member is on there as well. And a, friend I do well a friend of me I do not want to speak to so uh I came off there In Instagram does not work for me it never has when I was uh, doing my books everything however TikTok is a different story so and I don't want to say about TikTok but for some reason it's been working for me so I will be on there but they were just little videos I'm just trying out some stuff so please forgive me for those little shorts we have to do them as creators. YouTube like you to do them. So they're out there. Uh, and I, I, I've tried a couple of things. But as I say, I'm finding out what's working for you, what's not. Okay, uh, we'll talk about the lives at the end. I am going to do a live next week. But it may be on membership. Uh, because we'll talk about it at the end of the video if we can stay that long. <laughs> okay uh i'm gonna have to do it. i'm thinking next friday so we'll talk about it at the end though um so thank you for coming back if you haven't already please subscribe 
Um, please like and share. I need to get this message out to as many people as possible uh, because th this lot keep me awake at night to get these messages out. <laughs> so uh, what else? You can join this channel for perks and possibly for lives. There will definitely be member lives. I'm still, as I say, undecided whether or not to do a big one because there's a few little trolls out there who keep popping up uh, with me and they drive me nuts. So uh, I don't want that. This is sensitive stuff. So, and I want to protect all of my uh, regulars on here because I just, I, f I feel very protective of who comes on here, who comments and takes the time to do that. Uh, this is a community we're starting and I don't want people messing uh, I take it very seriously so it's not this is not just for me okay um I'm deadly serious about that um anyway what else do I have to say if you want a personal reading please go to my website check out the different readings I've got loads yes it's healing and contact me direct for one okay right let's get started so we've got these uh these angels. Now, I'm just going to show you if I haven't shown you. I've got these ones. I've tried, I've tried to start this video a couple of times. I'm forget what I've shown you, what I haven't. Uh, but the main guy coming through is uh, Archangel Gabriel, the messenger angel. Uh, very strong. Now, I'm going to read you what is on these cards because it's important. And they came out in a, one of the other readings. So for Gabriel, it, actually the moon, uh, divine revelation reveals messages, has the power to destroy. I've got a tap there, very important. All male. Uh, fertility and multiplicity protects against despair, helps one to be patient okay and this guy who did come in loud and clear at, um, at one point who and that's temperance so we've got ace of wands which is growth the moon which is um, the emotions uh, what's hidden that gets illuminated for me um, that's how I see the moon card temperance it's about patience. I'm getting reconciliation regains the favor of those one has offended. Um, but I'm getting um, to do with patience. So uh, that's odd. We'll, we'll see. We'll do some, do some more cards and them um, later on. I may stop the channeling and um, do some cards. We'll see how far we can get because I have all of this written down. So off we go. Okay, uh, now I'm going to tell you the songs I was listening to, and it's very eclectic. Uh, it always is with me. Um, I actually listened to Inception, the Incep from the movie, the mu music by Hans Zimmer um, from Inception. And this one is, I think it's 528491, which is the code they used to get into somebody's mind which is really interesting that um, the angels chose this one uh, because it's getting into a code, it's getting a message. It's almost like to activate knowledge. So we're talking about starseed light, light work, it's activating knowledge, DNA coding right there. I'm now channeling, so because um, I didn't write this bit down, activating coding. Coding message, uh, sample. It's like it's to set off something like a, a trigger. It's almost like um, hypnosis. It's like, right, now you're, you're on, move. Yeah, that kind of thing. Um, it's getting that key into the mind. They've even got me moving my hands like it's a bit ASMRish. I don't know why. Oh, because I'm apparently sending energy out to you. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Interesting. Right, so it started off, though, with a volcano. Which I've seen before. Often I see, um, I, I could see it from the top looking down into it, which I don't often see. Um, I normally see me, and I used to think it was a, a symbol of my anger because I had a lot of anger after the divorce, but um, 
I see men in black, the older guy who I know is a father figure from me from past life, but walking alongside, everything's very dark, this volcano. And I got, um, Etna will blow soon, two to three months, mass evacuation will occur. It is due, greatest eruption since 1920. So remember we uh, are on timelines and they can change because the people work on these things. Yeah, the, on the, in the higher realms, okay? So, but that's what's on course at the moment. Then I saw the Fool Tarot card, uh, which is, um, I haven't got them out here, the steampunk ones where you see the, it's like an Alice figure running after a rabbit uh, down a tunnel. Uh, I've got the Fool Tarot card, following the rabbit, will put, then I saw a little, you know when you uh, cause ripples in water, uh, if you throw a stone or whatever, and it was like a little whirlpool. And um, then I saw my guide washing his face with water. Um, then I saw uh, the moon and then Archangel Gabriel uh, with his, tr you know, he's usually depicted with a trumpet because he's a messenger. He heralds the coming of things. Right. Well, he was throwing his trumpet away. And then I saw all those people standing in the dark again, you know, I say in the different realms, um, standing, waiting, all lined up. Then I saw Tariel. Ugh. They wouldn't let me get any other cards out. This is the angel I pulled out in another reading who is the angel who is connected to the 144,000 and um, is from the Native American tribe, the Hopi, I believe it is. Um, he was above them all, so they were the 144,000, okay? And then I heard, we protect them from harm. They are already here. Then, this is the fun part for me, riding a dragon through the tunnels. Oh, that was great. Oh, I'm often seeing riding a dragon. That's to do with the seraphim angels. Um, so I'm told, then I saw a sunset in the sky and, it, and an angel carrying me as if um, it was like a bird though. And I had done, um, they gave me a reading before they asked me to pick these three cards out with angels and one of them, I forget, Cherubiel? It's a cherubim angel. It was supposed to have claws, gold claws, and um, it's carrying me like that. Then we go back to this darn plane, yeah, that I keep going on about. Yeah, all right, and they're bringing it through again, which um, I believe is representative of the angel of death, okay? Um... And I can see behind this plane. Now, I have really thought about putting this down as a script, everything to try and get the images out. But I have been really pushed and pulled away from that big time last night. I'm having to let my dreams of that go as well. <laughs> but they keep referring to me to the visions I've had in the, of this story, which... My stories are channeled. There's a free one. There's a link in the description. The, the channeled story about my, my past life. I had to put it out as a romance, but it's actually channeled. So you can, um, for the next few days, you can um, get that from Amazon. Okay. Um, but it's plain. And then I saw, if I, you may have to go back through the videos. It's, it's basically uh, about me or a version of me on this plane i i in this channeling it's almost like a, a camera shot behind the plane as it's going like that through the clouds then um i see in the water and i see um no words before it hits the water me putting on an oxygen mask and this person across the aisle who's appeared there's nobody else on the plane it's a korean guy and he puts on his mask as well then it lands. Then it, um, it started to change. The plane, and this is something I say a lot as well. The plane has a red stripe in the middle. Like a TWA plane, I'm being told, but it's not TWA. But it, I don't know where that came from. That's what they told me. Um, oh, I thought, I'm sorry, it was all full on blocks of, 
full apparition. A flash out, call them. Oh, that's not funny. He did that deliberately. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> Anyway, so um, I've lost that. I wonder if he's just come in to disrupt. It's like he's sitting like that, leaning over. Oh, is it when they they go on for seconds like that, and I see full apparition? I call them. If I, I mean, if you haven't watched my free previous videos, I call them flashes. <laughs> um, anyway, so in the water, and then all of a sudden, within this uh, plane. Like the flash I had on my other video um, that everybody can see, uh, there's a flash of light through the plane, but there's nobody on it. Then I'm behind the plane again in the clouds. Um, and then I see it coming through the room, which I've talked about, which I feel uncomfortable. It's going cold. Temperature's dropping. Um, and then I got the EMP pulse threat is real and planned. Ooh. Then I saw a lot of clouds and then I heard precipitation. Rain will fall less and less. Okay. Uh, water shortage will increase. Then I'm behind the plane again. Uh, and then the story started that I've just told you about. It started playing again. Uh, plane. The plane. Plane crash. The first is coming. And... There will be six. Okay. Um, and then I saw the one I hate saying. I've even dreamt of these plane crashes. Not this one in particular, but other ones that are absolutely terrifying. I hate it. And I'm saying it now. It's it's like one of them hits the white cliffs of Dover and just goes bends like that. And boom, boom. It's really, really, it's a passenger plane. It's really horrible. Um, there's a plane going over just to confirm that. Uh, and then I, um, yeah, why well, it? Then I heard oil, an oil slick will appear in the channel, which they've said before. New safety precautions must be taken for, na for nature. Uh, what the safety precautions at the moment are inadequate, and this is they're being shown. Uh, that they're inadequate. Now, I've had that before. They said a boat, but I'm not getting any more about the boat. Then we went on to uh, solar flares will increase. The solar flare increase is imminent. The battle for the sun will begin. Then they showed me, I'm going to um, show me a pyramid. Uh, well, like the triangle, more tetrahedron. And this line moving around it back and backwards and forwards. Um, and then I heard we monitor, I'm monitoring all the si I've, situations. And then I got the fleet monitors, you know, fleet of ships up there, you know, star seeds. Um, it's really weird when I was beginning my meditation at um, spacecraft that I've told you, I've seen above here. There was like a light came down from there and went through me. I get, um, I'm grounded up from the ground. Something comes up from the ground. That light comes down in this pyramid over me. And that's what's going on now. That's how I can talk to you about this. Okay, and then I got, and I mentioned this from my last video, Solaris is within me, um, guiding and protecting Sarah, a living part of the sun. Then I got dark skies again, rough sea. Then I saw a mask and it was like a BAFTA mask. Um, and then I heard, and the ward goes too. Then I saw the water, a shaft of sunlight coming through. It was very biblical looking. Um, the revelation of God is upon us. It was yellow light. Um, and what they said was, you can use the word God, universe, white light, whoever. You, you go with that's what it means um and then i got actors of the universe prevail with cruelty that's why the connection to the bafta mask 
uh, if you don't know what BAFTA is, it's, um, well, it, it's the UK version of the Oscars. Yeah. So, um, okay. Then I think I asked a question. Yes, science is integrated within this message. Um, I think, Donna, you were on about that as well. Um, all are one. All are equally important in this message. All are one. And that was from Archangel Gabriel. Oh. Okay. Then I got something in, in seagulls. The seagull population is declining, as are all bird life. Um, and this is necessary for ecology. Please remedy. Please notice. Then it went on to another message. Women's rights will prevail in great quantity. And this was actually when um, I had Katy Perry's role on. Um, it was interesting. Um, women must think they are a champion because she I am a champion. I'm you're going to hear me roar. Um, so and roar their own message for the world. This time they will be heard. And then I got that Mary figure again, who I've talked about, that woman with the red hair pushing open these doors with a whole load of other people in black and white. Uh, life, all life is in their hands. Okay, and that's Archangel Gabriel. There's a light. If you're going to do that, please do it on camera so everybody else can see. It's been moved out. I don't know what's going on there. Um, then I saw massive waterfalls again, like Victoria Falls in Africa and Niagara. I've been Niagara, wonderful. Um, Canadian side, oh, made of the mist, it was wonderful. Um, I've never, I've, I've probably mentioned it before, but I have never been in awe of nature like that. I had to stand back in the, in the boat because I couldn't breathe. It was so powerful, I could really, it was like that empath feel, you could feel the power and surge of nature. It was amazing. Now I'm wondering if that is the flow, um, a flow of abundance, a flow, a flow of blessings, a flow of um, things into the world, messages, communication. Um, yeah, that's something extra I'm getting. Um, and then, yeah, a uh, flow of abundance will come easier to those who do not have in the new economy that is being birthed as we speak. Okay. Then I saw other people are saying white robes. They were jumping off the waterfall with that blonde woman as well. Um, really weird. And then I saw a card, Six of Swords, which is, um, right, I'm going to find it. It's in here. They showed me. Um, which is, uh, uh, this card is about transition, but it's about, I'm just going to go straight to it. It's actually about, no, look at that. You see what I'm talking about? That's a card of abundance. Um, happiness, yeah. Let's see if I can find you. It's really important to see this. Um, it's about, it's a card of transition and, um, Going away from danger, from moving on to something else. Moving on in creation, I'm being told. Okay. All right. Oh, the other way around now. It's because they're in two piles. Where are you? It's typical, isn't it? When you're looking for something, it's always right. The other end. There it is. I saw that card, but I still see the cross on the card, more like the Knights Templar that um, somebody pointed out. Uh, it's really, um, really odd. It's moving away. That's in the moon, this connection with the moon. It's almost as if things are happening at night a lot. When people sleep, things are happening. Messages are being brought in and downloads as well uh to people okay we've got the science uh, okay so you've mixed me up now haven't you okay so 
So we've got seagulls, women's rights, massive waterfalls. I don't know why they're jumping off the waterfalls. I don't quite understand. Then I heard, I keep mentioning it, Ashes to Ashes, um, that TV series, uh, the clown in that from the actual D David Bowie, because um, I was playing Ashes to Ashes as well, um, the clown in the David Bowie uh, video, uh, but like the French Piero clown, um, appears in Ashes to Ashes, so connected to the song and uh, about Alex going back in time and things like that. and to the 1980s in particular and 1981 and you just hear him saying Alex wake up and they keep saying that to me so it's it's very it's very Alice in Wonderland so it's always a connection with that and then I saw myself I've shown you this a few times of being in a wooden throne and being spun around I actually um and they showed me something else that uh, I think I saw a clip of the other day, uh, Gravity, where she's in space and everything starts spinning around. And that's literally how I felt after my divorce, because there were a lot of things. I was saying to my son before that I don't know if you've gone through something like this, because if I'm telling you, it's usually important. But it feels like sometimes you have to let go of things in your life and it feels like you die yeah and you are reborn and what was before was a past life but you're still within the same life it's very odd and that's how things have felt for me recently they've asked me to let go of so much and forget so much and i'm being rebirthed into somebody else i don't fully recognize at the minute so i believe that's going on for a lot of people it's like this mini death that you have to go through uh, still living obviously and then you become this new person with all these codes it's your DNA is being activated for your mission and the mission is a double fold mission if I'm talking to you you're watching this video you're a light worker or you're a star seed or you are some connection to spiritual realms who have asked you to come here um, to do a job and you're now being activated this is the next part of the mission messaging yeah um okay then i saw the volcano again um and then i saw soldiers like world war ii soldiers parachuting out of a plane and the view from the open door out into the plane in the clouds there's those clouds again now the other day i was sitting out in the sun and i'm going to bring this to a close in a minute there are going to be a few videos because i know people will just get sick if i go out too long um but this woman came running down the, the steps, down the flat where I was sitting and sat next to me. And I've seen her before, 1940s woman in shorts. And she was all in black and white. It was really weird. And I thought, I wonder if that's my grandmother because she was a young woman in the 40s. And um, really odd. Yeah, that's tap to confirm. She is my grandmother. So she's now part of this. Um, because I, I, I asked and Gabriel said yes. Okay, so that's really important. Uh, it's, it's almost like it, uh, that's like a message from ancestors because she pops up again. So I think you will be getting messages from ancestors, uh, dreams of your ancestors who are bringing forward relevant information on becoming part of your spiritual team. So it's necessary, especially um, a lot of them who, who um, have been from the 1940s. 50s yeah that kind of era because i think they were part of the indigo um i think there were lots of volunteers you know that came down they were part of them and they're now doing the other part of the mission is to bring us information and i'm saying them get oh my goodness me okay the royalty come here hey george the sixth he is leading something he is very important now they're showing me the queen um but a, a picture of the Queen. I haven't seen her. Yeah, like that, if you know what I mean. Um, but he's here. Okay. He's just here. I'm getting um, nothing from him at the moment. But he's, I see him a lot. He's leading a charge. That's all I know. Leading a charge. He's in full regalia. Military, military regalia. Um, 
I'm going to finish with this last message because I think um, before I do a new video for the rest of this, I think this is important. Um, it was one of the songs, I can't remember the song now. Um, oh, it was um, Michael Jackson's Stranger in Moscow, which I think is great um, at depicting what it's like to be a starseed and not fitting in on this planet. And then um, Gabriel said, how does it feel to be alone? You are alone no more. We are here. Please believe it is the truth. No one lies to you. Gabriel because I have lots of doubts and if you have any doubts that's an affirmation to be strong and they are taking care of us yeah so I'm going to leave it there um yeah lives I think it's going to have to be members because this is stuff is just so <sighs> complicated um what I'll do is I'll put it on the centaurus um one which is well it's four pounds 99 i don't know what that is in dollars but um four pounds 99 so if you want to do that um please join that for the live you get other perks as well you get to see these videos a little bit earlier and you get um you don't have to watch them with ads so if you do that to get the lives i will add that as a perk on there so centaurus and orion and um if there's enough people um, who do that, I will uh, do a live next Friday and we'll work out the timing uh, because I want everybody. And I know a lot of people from Australia watch on here as well as the US and around the world. So um, in the UK and it's going to have to be a time to, that fits everyone. So uh, if we um, if I say that, let me know what you think. OK, I just can't. It's too sensitive. I, ah, I can't. So, you know, maybe in the future, but at the moment it has to be, um, as I watch Soul Source Tarot, I don't know if you watch it, she's great. She really says it like it is. And she, um, she always say, you know, trolls don't pay to troll. So <laughs> there you go. Um, so please forgive me. Uh, what I'll do is if you, if you don't want to do that, we can, I don't know, but, I can give you highlights of the discussion, whatever, in a video, but, you know, it's up to you. Um, and, yeah, so I'm off. Uh, to do, I'll do the next video straight away, okay? So this one go out tonight. Um, it'll be one Saturday. There may be a third because there's so much information. And if you want any other video, type of videos, let me know. Angel um, Life Path Readings, anything like that, contact me direct. You can contact me direct anyway um yeah i shall see you again um please like share and subscribe thank you very much thank you for supporting me take care and i'll see you next time bye